What is circular dichroism spectroscopy? Have you ever wondered how scientists figure out the intricate structures of molecules, especially those that are mirror images of each other but not superimposable? This is where circular dichroism spectroscopy comes in. Circular dichroism, or CD, is a technique used to study the structural characteristics of chiral molecules. So what are chiral molecules? These are molecules that have an asymmetrical arrangement of atoms, meaning they can't be superimposed on their mirror image. Many biological molecules like proteins, nucleic acids, and some small organic molecules are chiral. Here's how it works. CD spectroscopy involves shining circularly polarized light through a sample. Circularly polarized light is special because its electric field vector rotates in a circular manner as it travels. There are two types of circularly polarized light, left-handed and right-handed. When this light passes through a chiral molecule, something interesting happens. The molecule absorbs left-handed and right-handed circularly polarized light differently due to its structural asymmetry. This difference in absorption is what we measure as circular dichroism. The CD spectrometer records how the absorbance changes as the wavelength of the light changes. This gives us a CD spectrum, which tells us a lot about the secondary structure, conformational changes, and overall folding of the molecules in the sample. For example, in proteins, CD spectroscopy can reveal the presence of alpha helices, beta sheets, and random coils. It's also used to analyze the conformation of nucleic acids, giving us insights into the secondary structures of DNA and RNA. In drug research, CD spectroscopy is crucial for studying the purity of optically active substances and understanding how proteins interact with other molecules. It's a powerful tool because it can be used on small amounts of material and in physiological conditions, making it ideal for monitoring structural changes under different environmental conditions like pH, temperature, and ionic strength. So, circular dichroism spectroscopy is essentially a way to see how chiral molecules interact with light, helping us understand their complex structures and behaviors in detail.